Hey Jobber Nation, it's Andrew Ross here. Uh, start of the 2019 Formula One season has me thinking quite a bit about technology and what lessons uh, business might be able to take from how uh, those Formula One teams uh, deal with uh, technology. Uh, probably the most important uh, that, that I see is that uh, you really uh, can't uh, rely on old technology to move you uh, forward in your business. Uh, the Formula One car pictured on this poster behind me from 2008 would have been lapped uh, four times uh, by the end of the first race uh, in Australia. Uh, so that's certainly not a, a position you want to be in in business. Uh, uh, so you do need to invest uh, in, in uh, current technologies uh, to ensure that you're in the race at all. Uh, but a good second lesson, I believe, is uh, that it's not just a question of making those big investments once every few years. Uh, it's about continuous improvement, uh, looking for areas that you can uh, 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 in improve what you have in place. Uh, the teams don't stop developing their technology at the start of the first race. They work on it all the way through the races, all the way between the races. Uh, ongoing throughout the whole season. The cars at the end of the season are much more developed than the cars at the beginning of the season and those who get it right uh, end up on the top step of the podium more often than not. Uh, and the third lesson is uh, how important it is to get the most out of the technology you have. Most of the teams have very similar sets of technology, uh, but those teams that can get the most out of those packages uh, are the ones that will find themselves uh, with more points, with more wins, with more uh, high finishes, uh, and that's really where you want to be at in business. Uh, so the three things, again, to focus on are making sure you have uh, good solid technology in place to begin with, that you continually look for areas that you can improve it, uh, and that you have the people in place to make sure you can get the most of that technology. Uh, uh, the good news for business is that there's no checkered flag falling at the end of uh, 58 laps, 60 laps, 70 laps. You can keep working on it uh, and, and there are no rules in place saying you, you can't use this technology or that technology. The world is your oyster. It gives you a real opportunity to, uh, for better, lack of a better phrase, enjoy the race. Till next time, I'm Andrew Ross.